are your product. After all, before you can sell real estate, you must first have sold yourself as the agent who can best provide buying and selling help. Now you might define your personal brand as taking something special and unique about you and using it to create the perception in the minds of targeted prospects that you are unique and better able to meet their needs. Here's Ron Siegel with some more thoughts about personal branding. People like to do business with people like themselves. So the whole idea behind personal branding is to tell people who you are, what you stand for, what your values are in a nanosecond. What would it mean to you if your name came up first as the go-to luxury real estate agent in the minds of 70% of all of the people in your marketplace? Why, well, you'd be the Google of your marketplace because Google occupies a 70% mind share, 70% of all searches on the internet. That's the name that comes up first when you think of a search engine, and that's the power of branding. It's the power of personal branding. So, one goal is, in marketing terms, to create top of mind awareness, just like Google, be the first one people think about. For more information on branding and marketing, please visit our websites.